Sporting Journal Radio, presented by Onyx. All right, our next guest is Eric Osberg from Ottertail Lakes Country to talk about, I don't know, there's some sort of little fishing tournament going on in Ottertail County. Uh, Eric, Eric, how's it going, man? It's going good. How are you doing? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. You guys got a busy weekend coming up. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be busy, and I, I feel bad because I haven't, I haven't been making time to give it the attention it deserves. But the good news is, is the NWT knows what they're doing. And uh, hopefully the water levels stay where they're at. Um, Because there, there's been some questions about, you know, gee whiz, are we going to be able to get boats into Otter Tail Lake? And, and um, as of right now, at this moment, I believe we can. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, the, the, the NWT championship is coming to Otter Tail Lake. It'll, and the good news is it'll be, you know, the, the, the best of the best. It'll be 40 qualifying, you know, boats and 40 qualifying co-anglers. And, and, and we felt like, you know, we started the, the fishing season with the, with the governor's fishing opener, and we felt like this made a nice bookend, if you will, sure. to, to what's been a pretty busy summer. And so... So yeah, so we're gonna have the best walleye anglers arguably in the world on Otter Tail Lake, and and I really really hope they catch fish. <laughs> <laughs> How much work on your end did it take to uh, you know? Did you have to um, say, hey, you guys should come have the championship here on Otter Tail, or did they come to you? And then how much work have you had to do preparing for this event, or, or have they handled most of it? They've handled most of it. it. It's it's been a it's been a fairly light lift from a from a people power standpoint. Um, no, it, it's just kind of a you know who knows who type of deal, right? So somebody contacted me because the NWT was looking for places that might be interested in hosting this, and so I said, well, we might be, and then we you know kind of read you know the the advantages of being the host community and and and. And again, we felt like with how we started the summer, this is a pretty cool way, you know, it, in the marketing world, it's always best to have your name associated with the latest and greatest thing that's happening. So we figured why not just see if we can extend our, our uh, the, the, you know, our, our, our moment in the sun, so to speak. But no, the, the, the NWT has been great to work with and they got a good staff and they know what they're doing. And we're just trying to make sure that they feel uh, welcomed and accommodated when they do get here. I, I, again, my 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 first question when they when we started talking about it, I'm like, just so you know, this isn't Lake Erie, right? Like the bags aren't going to be, you know, the the bags aren't going to be 30 pounds because you know you're dealing with uh, you know a different type of fishery. Guys can only use one line, mm. so they're not they're not going to be setting out, uh, uh, you know three planer boards on a side and, and looking for, for, you know, 10, you know, three 10 pound walleyes, you know, they're going to get their, they're going to get their five unders and their one over. And, uh, and, and, and hopefully that, uh, hopefully they enjoy that. I, I have, I've talked to some anglers who have said it's kind of cool because, you know, it's almost a little old school, right? Like it might come down to a jig and a minnow. Yeah. Like, right. You know, the guy, guy or gal or, you know, the, whoever wins it might have a, a jig in a minnow. You know, they'll have the rod in their hand, so to speak, maybe. But, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be fun. And for me personally, I, I know a lot of these guys. And so it's been a long time, you know, it's been a long time since I've been around them and uh, looking forward to having them in town. Is that on Saturday or is it two days? Well, actually, it's 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 three days. So it's the, the 22nd and the 23rd which is a Wednesday and a Thursday. And then, the, and then the, the, the top 10 from the first 40, right? So there's like a, you know, you got to make the cut. So there's 40 will go out on uh, Wednesday, the 22nd, 40 will go out on Thursday, the 23rd. And then the top 10 will duke it out on Friday, the 24th. So um, it'll be, it'll be fun. And, and, uh, we're looking for volunteers to help move boats around in shallow water. If anybody's looking for something to do those, <laughs> those, those three days. Sure. How do they reach you for that? If they want to help out, they can, uh, they can call me my, or text me. My cell is 218-639-3130, 218-639-3130. And again, as long as we can get the boats off the trailer, I've said that we'll, we'll get an army of people to walk the boats to deeper water if we have to. Um, 
But one way, or, one way or another, we'll get it done. And they're going to catch fish, Eric. I have no doubt that they're going to catch fish out there. These are obviously good anglers, and there's plenty of walleyes in that lake. They're going to find them. But if they would have listened to uh, – and obviously the, the patterns are probably starting to change a little bit, but if they would have listened to Rannon a couple weeks ago, he's got some pretty interesting tips on where you might find walleyes on that lake. And it, it's not going to be some of your typical walleye spots. So there's a little hint to you uh, NWT anglers out there that are going to be fishing that lake. Yeah, and, and I, you know, it's it's a shame that Raynan and I don't get to fish Otter Tail more because we we both fish it the same way, mm. and, and but but he's doing it during the day, right? right. Like I'm out there, right. at, you know, I'm out there at midnight. Did you see the lure he was using? That did you see on his Facebook page? Yeah, it was like a, it was like a squid looking tube jig. Oh yeah, it was like it was, yep. like, it was like that big, and I'm like, first of all, where do you get one of those? And second of all, who would ever <laughs> We'll never use that to try to get, but you know, it, uh, throw something different, but, uh, I think that's yeah. how we titled and you can watch the video in our, with our interview with Randon on our YouTube page or Facebook page. Uh, and he talks about what it's weird walleyes. No weird. What did he say? What was it, Dan? Weird techniques in weird places or something for walleyes. Like he was using like he was, bass fishing baits basically. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, that's, and, and that's, uh, that's not, you know, if it was me, I'd be pulling something, you know, behind the boat. But but casting, big lures catch big fish. I mean, you and I have talked about it a lot, right? Whether it's plastics or or, or stick baits or whatever it is. You, uh, walleye anglers, you know, a lot of them already know, but uh, you don't have to be dragging around a, 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 a Lindy rig all day long. There it is right there. <laughs> That's the secret. That secret's out now. Well, you just got to be, uh, you got to be flexible when you're on your, on the water. If you're not finding fish, try different presentations. If you're finding fish, uh, try something different or, or go, sh go shallow or uh, <laughs> whatever. That might be the ticket. Never know. Right. You never know, but yeah, it'll be fun to have them here for sure. Well, good luck with that tournament, Eric. Good luck with everything else up there in Otter Tail Lakes country. And if people want to find out more about Otter Tail County, what should they do? They should find their inner otter at ottertaillakescountry.com. Did you know there are more than 1,000 lakes in Ottertail County? Yep, and I'm going to fish as many as I can. I'm an outdoorsy otter. Nothing beats a full day of fishing for me. The lakes of Ottertail County give me plenty of options to lower my boat and snag the perfect catch. Not an outdoorsy otter? No problem. Ottertail County has something for everyone. You just need to find your inner otter. To find your inner otter, go to ottertaillakescountry.com.